I said. And maybe the phone while you're at it. But no! <sighs> Will you move already? I paid it weeks ago. Oh, really? Then what's this? An invitation to the White House? Yeah, that's the receipt. Aha! Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh. yourself. The whole complex? Oh! <laughs> An earthquake, baby. In flushing? Partied hardy. Oh, I can't believe you dragged me out of bed at this hour. Mayor woke me, I woke you. <sighs> so, what hit this place? Ready kilowatt on steroids. I don't know why, but this was the only building on the block affected. Let's run a computer search. Unusual storms, nearby power plants, anything that screams high voltage. You got it, Effie. No radiation. Hey, you're those heat guys, right? I saw you on the news. I'm the... well, I was the superhero. Hey, you mind if we poke around inside? Knock yourself out. But it ain't my fault the place comes crumbling down on you. Residual atmospheric ionization detected inside structure. 23.7% above normal. Could the creature have originated from inside the building? Nick Totopoulos. Hey, Monique, what's taking you? We've been down here for... what? I'm on it. Monster's been spotted down by the MTA bus yards. Right behind you, Effie. No. I need you to finish your computer search, then do a thorough exam of the building. It may tell us more about what we're up against. Randy, Elsie, you're in charge here. Mendel, you're coming with me. I am. Unless you'd rather hand Nigel over to Randy.
There's always another way out. Careful, watch your step. <laughs> Atmospheric ionization, 97.6% above normal. Electrical discharge extending into theta frequency. <laughs> Nothing looks like it's been tampered with. No abnormal weather conditions, and the nearest power plant's miles away. Check each and every apartment and let me know if you find any unusual electronic equipment. Whoa, 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 who died and made you queen? I happen to be the senior team member here. <sighs> Since when? Didn't you hear Nick? He said, Elsie, you're in charge. No, he said, Randy, Elsie, you're in charge. He meant both of us. Will you just do what I ask, please? And what are you gonna do, your majesty? Polish your scepter? Whoa, check this place out. Not a scratch. Whose unit is this? Name's Walker. Ain't seen him in days. On vacation, maybe. Can you let us in? Oh, look. He must have forgot to lock up when he left. That thing is pure electromagnetic energy! I was in trouble. Or he felt the sudden radical reversed ionic polarity in the air. Actually, it was a rhetorical question. <laughs> Bills, junk mail, hello. Excuse me. Is it too much to ask that you focus? On what exactly, boss? Listen, kid. I was leading research teams through deadly monsoons while you were still choosing up sides for dodgeball. So that would make you really old? You got any 411 on this Walker guy? Mostly keeps to himself. Neighbors scream at each other all night, but he never complains. Don't know how he puts up with it. You got his work number? Works for the MTA, I think. In the bus yard. Listen, Nick, I think there's a connection between that giant spark plug and an MTA employee named Sidney Walker. See what you can dig up on him. Is there a Sidney Walker here? He's been out all week. Sick? Beats me. Maybe he got tired of getting zapped all the time. Excuse me? That Walker charges up those new electric buses. Kept giving him shocks. Never complained, though. Real quiet guy. Hmm. 
Let's review. Walker works with electricity. And the creature is a walking humanoid electromagnetic field. It attacked Walker's workplace and neighbors, but spared his apartment. I see where you're going. Walker secretly hates his job and everyone around him. So when he accidentally mutates into a giant bug zapper, he decides to exact his revenge. What? That crackler thing can't be a human mutation. It's not even alive. Crackler? What would you call it? We'd know a lot more if we could just locate Walker. Nick, I got a slim lead in his calendar. The last entry is for an appointment at the Manhattan Neural Research Center. You and Randy follow up on that. Mendel, can you key in on the creature's residual ionization? Piece of cake. Then let's go crackler hunting. Me too? And when we get in there, let me do the talking. Like anyone could stop you. Aluminum spitballs? Patience? May I help you? Oh, I certainly hope so. We're looking for a patient, Mr. Sidney Walker. I'm sorry. There's no record of any Sidney Walker. <laughs> that should keep him busy for a while. Are you crazy? Setting off cherry bombs in the middle of Manhattan? No, 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 no bombs. Just remote micro speakers connected to a killer sound card. Huh. She was right. Walker isn't here. And he isn't in Lab 13. Well, then let's not pay him a visit. Theta reading spiked again. What could be causing it? So where are you hiding Lightning Boy? Call security. Hi, Dr. Elsie Chapman, Humanitarian Environmental Analysis Team. Heat? The monster guys? B uh, Mr. Walker uh, isn't available right now. Oh, right. He's too busy terrorizing the city as a giant lightning bug. So what other monsters are you cooking up in your lab, Dr. Frankenstein? You want to see your monster? That's Walker. What's his story? Well, originally insomnia. We've been working on a cure. In Mr. Walker's case, uh, unfortunately, we found one. To put him under, we amplified his brain's theta waves. That was a week ago. We haven't been able to wake him since. We've tried various stimulants, but... Well, that's only produced temporary spikes in his brainwave activity. When exactly did those spikes occur? So these theta spikes happened at the same moments the crackler appeared? That's consistent with Nigel's data. The crackler's electrical frequency is similar to theta brainwaves. Could Walker be controlling the crackler? Not consciously, but the theta wave amplification process creates a massive electrical discharge. We assume that energy dissipated into the atmosphere. But if Walker's subconscious can direct it somehow as a conduit for all his frustration and anger... The guy doesn't look like he's got an angry bone in his body. His initial psych test suggested intense, suppressed rage. Told you. Always the quiet ones. You getting all this, Nikki? Loud and clear. Theta wave spiking again. Who's he mad at now? I'm picking up massive ionization. Due north. They've spotted the crackler. So what are we waiting for? Let's unplug its master. Apparently, Mr. Walker's subconscious won't back down without a fight. Get me an insulation suit. Stat! You think you can just come in here and order us around? She does that a lot. I reconfigured these to fire at the crackler's frequency. Identical charges should repel one another, assuming we get close enough. As you wish. Sleeping Beauty. Elsie's working on it now. Randy, the Crackler's still here. 
Only now it's in hyperdrive. And it appears to have acquired a taste for moving targets. Directed the cracklers attacking everything in sight. Perfect timing. Gotta hook Walker back up to the dream machine. What are you, insane? We nearly fried ourselves trying to disconnect him. If Sleepy can't control his nightmare, Nick says this town's gonna be toast. Uh, this is a human being. We can't just flick him on and off like a light switch. <sighs> Excuse me. Mr. Walker? I'm sorry, but could you please keep it down? Nick, Walker's awake. The Crackler's history, right? No. Free Godzilla. We'll never build up enough charge with these things. We need some larger conductor. Like that flagpole. Mental note. Stop making suggestions. Once we're at capacity, the charge will have nowhere to go but... <gasps> signs are normal. I'm reading a theta wave discharge. Let's just hope our little friend still has a rapport with his creation. What's going on? There's a monster running around that you dreamed up. What? We just need you to concentrate. Let, let go of your anger and just relax. I'm not angry. Then how come your subconscious is trashing Shea Stadium? You're insane. Who are you people? Randy, something's happening here. What's going on with Walker? He just lost it for a sec. We're calming him down. No, no. Keep him riled up. It seems to have a negative effect on the Crackler. Okay. Admit it, Walker. You hate your neighbors, you hate your job, and you hate the Mets. Uh, I've been a fan for 30 years. You've seen them this season? They stink. Well... I guess I'm a little disappointed with them. Disappointed? Randy, leave the poor guy alone. Just work with me on this, okay? They can't hit, they can't field, and the pitching staff reeks. Fine, whatever. Just stop yelling at me, okay? Do you think that was yelling? This is yelling, compadre! Get this maniac away from me! Ren, keep it up! It's working! You want me to back off, you little milksop? Make me! I'm calling security! I said stop! And that's an order! That's him! That's the guy! You got the guts to get bad with me? Huh? Do you punk? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Everyone's always yelling at me! Get to work, mind your own business, eat your beats, stop wetting the bed! I can't take it anymore! You hear me? I can't and I won't! It's over, Randy. No more yelling, please. No problem, dude. It's over. All except for years of intense therapy. So, Walker suppressed his anger for so long, his subconscious mind actually manifested the crackler.
With a little help from the Theta Wave Amplifier. All my yelling brought his anger to the surface, to his conscious mind, so there was none left to feed the creature. Take all the credit, why don't you? Okay. Oh, wait, I keep forgetting. You were the team leader. All right, smart guy. Let's settle this once and for all. Nikki, I think it's high time we establish a chain of command. Yeah, tell her who's in charge when you're not around. Not a problem. Craven is. What?